doesn't come to Goa. <laughs> it will just be, uh, you know, not natural for someone who lives in Bombay to not come to Goa. So I'd say, I want to go to Goa. <laughs> I think uh, I'm really connected with the place. Uh, I was uh, 13 when I started to sing in the choir and I mean, little did I know feel or you come into this world and somehow the universe tries to put something in your lap. Of course there's hard work, of course there's everything but there's also this one factor where for that bit you can't try so much. Every time I look into the mirror I say thank you God, <laughs> you did a damn good job. Hi, this is Vinita Gomes from Gomantak Times YouTube, your gateway to Goa. Today we have a very special guest with us. If you have been listening to Thank You God Vaste or Leja Leja for that matter, you know exactly who we are talking about. She is the country's youngest music sensation and she needs no introduction. She is none other than Dwani Banushali. Hi Dwani. Hi. Yes. Uh, so Dwani, what brings you to Goa? I'm performing at the Cashew Fest uh, day one. We're opening the show and uh, it's uh, the at 8.30 p.m. on the main stage and I'm very excited because I've never performed in Goa before so I have no idea what the people are like but I'm really excited and thrilled to um, you know engage with the audience and do like a fab one. <laughs> so is this your first time to Goa or you have you come before or previously? Uh, no, I've been here before with my family and uh, my friends. Who doesn't come to Goa? <laughs> it will just be, uh, you know, not natural for someone who lives in Bombay to not come to Goa. And uh, I mean, it's always a great time. I think my first memory with Goa also was uh, we came to Majota. I still remember this South that Goa. hotel. Yeah, yes. I was about five years old. I came here right after I got typhoid and I recovered. <laughs> and, I mean, I love playing in the water so much that every time after that, that my parents said, that, you know what, um, where do you want to go? So I'd say, I want to go to Goa. <laughs> I think uh, I'm really connected with the place. So your I, relation with Goa was like more on uh, a getaway or a party party? Getaway and like fun and like water and like peace, I think. Okay. Dwani, in one of your interviews, you mentioned that, you know, it was during your school choirs that you were able to discover your love for music. Is that true? Yeah, it is. Uh, I was uh, 13 when I started to sing in the choir and I mean, little did I know, you know, I, at the time, I think I was just really inclined and very happy that after uh, every time in the assembly, you, you we would sing uh, the songs. Um, and uh, in the lunch break, I'd get to go down. Actually, it was a getaway for me from <laughs> class. And I really enjoyed myself being a part of uh, so many voices. And eventually, I like progressed to getting a mic, <laughs> Even, oh. you know, uh, after a while. Uh, it was a great experience. And then I found out that, you know, it's a really nice hobby. It makes me feel something. It makes me feel really happy. And uh, that's why then I started doing some YouTube covers and randomly then got picked up and just, it just happened to me and I'm... So when you say that it just happened to you, uh, you started with uh, YouTube, your YouTube channel. Yeah. And then you went to MTV and then you had some uh, major uh, hits. No, what I didn't go it? to MTV. So basically what happened was I uh, went to Himesh Shamya's house. Uh, they had about... Uh, they had some 300 song celebration and all these singers were there and I was really fascinated. I just wanted to be there, not like I went there to audition or anything. And towards the end of it when everyone left, uh, his band was still there and he was still there. And they said, why don't you sing a little bit? So I sang a little bit and then he said, you have a tone, but you need to train yourself. Okay. So I started training myself and then uh, eventually uh, did one playback with Rahat Sahab, um, which which is called Ishtihar. Uh, it's uh, in Diljit Dosanjh and Sonakshi Sinha's uh, film, uh, Welcome to New York. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was my first playback. Afterward, I still kept doing uh, YouTube covers and everything. And then it, what happened? Uh, Dilbar happened next after okay. two years. Mm -hmm. So that and then I trained myself because I was always inclined towards pop okay. towards like yeah. doing everything being an all-in-one and I used to really get inspired by uh, Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez, Beyonce and you know it just 
I pictured myself. You know how visualization takes you really far. It's good to have that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now that you're saying that, you know, you uh, wanted to be out there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, there are a lot of music professional musicians and content creators when it yeah. comes to music. Okay. And they are bringing up latest hits and trending songs. So how do you choose to be relevant in the period of time? I don't know, dude. It's a very cosmic thing. Like when you're sitting in the studio, studio, and you when you're working on music, and people that are working uh, with me, uh, the composers, the writers. I think it's a it's a very that that you come into this field or you come into this world, and somehow the universe tries to put something in your lap. Of course, there's hard work. Of course, there's everything. But there's also this one factor where. For that bit, you can't try so much. You know what I'm saying? I I don't really focus that. Okay, I need to be relevant. Hmm. Uh, that's why I need to do a certain thing. Hmm. I just feel like it flows. So only with that flow can you um, achieve or you know be uh, in front of the audience for for as long as you want. So if you are to describe yourself and music, how would it be? Your relationship with music is just love. <laughs> like it really makes me happy i don't know what to say um i yeah it's just that it's got nothing to do with uh, the kind of hits uh, the kind of numbers of course it, there's a business side of it and uh, one needs to be aware uh, but at the same time it genuinely does make me happy otherwise i wouldn't have done it in the first place true so we want to try this uh, quick game okay we'll ask you a set of five questions and you have to reply with the music line or a hook of the song sure. okay so let's start if you are to describe your journey in the field of music which song would it be chalte chalte mere geet yaad rakhna kabhi alvida na kehna Definitely, that's really a nice one. <laughs> uh, the second question: If you are supposed uh, to sing a song of an international singer, which song would that be? Of an international singer. I think thank you God is doing so all the rounds these days. <laughs> so maybe every time I look into the mirror, I say thank you God. <laughs> you did a damn good job. Give him a round of applause and all the boys go. I've been listening to your reels, and this is the song. I had no idea. That's what I'm saying, right? It was just. So, so I'll tell you the story behind it. So what happened was, this one fine day, I felt like I was looking really fine, and I thought I had an ab line. <laughs> so I went to the mirror, and I was like, "Oh my god, I look so good!" Like, thank you, God. And then I went back to uh, while when we were writing, and I told uh, Natanya and Shlok and uh, Miranda and the, and David because they were writing. The, we had this whole camp together. And they said, just let's make a song out of it. I think it's a great line, and that's how the whole thing came by. So I feel like these things from life, you know how, um, because you and I would that way relate to the same thing, right? Today, tomorrow, you, you know, you, you would look a certain way and be like, dude, I'm going to fly today. <laughs> I would so, definitely say thank you, God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Another question. Uh, which is a song from your childhood that you still have? Uh, you still sing today? Oh yeah. Iktara was really close to my heart. I don't know why I would sing it all the time. Ore man wa tu to bavra hai. Tu hi jaane tu kya sochta hai bavre. Kyun dikhaye sapne tu sote jaagte. Jo barse sapne boond boond. उटेंड I'm working late cuz I'm a singer. Espresso <laughs> by Sabrina yes I have been. Okay. And one song for the Goan audience if you have to sing something. I actually would not know um 
anything traditional uh, because and I don't want to get there and upset you guys <laughs> so uh, let's not go there but uh, I love Goa and maybe one day I'll be ready with when next time when we meet I'll be ready with a song that I can dedicate to you guys but Jen and you have a lot of love for Goa something from yours any of your music that you would mm, any you of my music specific? can I just sing this one song Every time I think about Goa, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Vani, for joining Thank us. You. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.